Y'all, it is super early. <laughs> it is 5 a.m. in the morning, and we are getting ready to do a hot air balloon. And it's a little chilly, too, so we got a little shawl going on. So if you're going for a hot hair balloon, just know you gotta wake up early and just know it might be a little cool when you wake up. So this was actually all of our first time going on a hot air balloon ride. So not only were we scared, but we were also excited as well. So here's a little tip for you going on a hot air balloon. Again, just know that your ride is gonna be coming for you early in the morning. So you gotta be ready at 5 a.m. in the morning. This hot air balloon experience also comes with breakfast at the end, which is pretty cool because since we were waking up super early, we won't have time to have breakfast. So this is us watching them as they blow up the balloon. It was pretty cool because we've never seen that in person. And since it was so cold, it was good to feel that hot air. If y'all notice, we actually stayed right there so we can feel that hot air because it was cold. Did he feel good, huh? Yes. <laughs> y'all, it is cold out here. Yeah, it's We're in the hot air balloon. Jamie, you having fun? Yeah. Okay, so as you notice, they have little baskets with about three to four people in each, and the entire balloon held about 10 people. One thing I want you to be note of is when you go up, they are going to tell you to be mindful of your movement because it's very important that we are balancing the weight all the way up as well as when we're in the air for safety reasons. But the experience was pretty cool. But I'm not gonna lie y'all, I was very nervous. And my son, who's normally not the nervous one, y'all, he was scared out his behind. <laughs> oh my God, but he enjoyed the experience overall. Okay, so here you have the balloon pilot. He's giving us some safety directions to make sure we're safe going up and also going down. You have drops in the basket. Okay, just you can hold the drops. If you have much wind, you do it squat position. Okay, that's clear for you. Thank you so much. Now you can turn that side. You don't need drops. Just enjoy. I watch some video on YouTube for take off. That's so easy for me. <laughs> but maybe for London, you can help me. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, my God. Yeah. 
I'm not unbalancing. <laughs> I'll hold you. Oh, this is, oh my ears is popping. Mm -hmm. Okay, the experience in the sky was actually very beautiful and magical. We ended up being about 1,200 meters high, and that was pretty high. I don't know if you can hear a little bit in the video where I can say that my ears was popping a bit, but y'all, the view up was absolutely beautiful. And if you're scared of heights, just don't look down, but it really was not that bad. Oh, hold the phone, please, James. Don't make me nervous. <laughs> They're excited that they're back on on the ground. How is it, Kara? I had fun. Let's, yeah. Yo, this is not fair. You know why? Because she flies planes all the time. She's used to all of this. We up here scared her. She's like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> okay, let's step away. Come on. Come on. Come on. But how was your experience? You enjoyed it? Yes. Yes, I did. I enjoyed the experience. It was very good. The kids' first time, my first time, all of our first time, right? Y'all had a good time? Yeah! <laughs> Dominic is glad to be on the ground. <laughs> 